and help us understand these data. I mean, on the one hand, you've got 90% efficacy in one dosing regimen. On the other, 62% efficacy. Can you organize it so that the 90% regimen will be the one that gets distributed out to the world? Yeah, so first of all, thank you so much for having me. And, and we are very excited about the data we released this, uh, this morning. Uh, first of all, the study is showing that when you use half dose and a, and a high dose, that the efficacy is indeed 90%, which is, uh, which is incredibly uh, strong. Uh, equally, even if you use high dose, high dose, it's still a very strong response uh, of over 60, uh, 62%. I, uh, we believe and, and we think that the regulators will focus on this uh, half dose, uh, full dose regimen, but of course that's in the hands of, of the regulators, but overall it's a very strong set of, of data. Equally, I think it's very important uh, to remember that all vaccinated participants didn't develop the disease, so no hospitalization or any severe disease characteristics uh, caused by COVID-19. Uh, so all in all, I think a, a, a very strong set of, of, of data. Uh, as we all know, the world needs uh, uh, effective uh, vaccines and, and AstraZeneca and Oxford are very pleased. Well, there's one point I really want to ask you about because I was mistaken about it actually earlier as I was going through the data so quickly. You say here that there is an early indication that the vaccine could reduce virus transmission from an observed reduction in asymptomatic infections. Tell us about that finding. I mean, are you actually finding that this vaccine could produce what's known as sterilizing immunity, really keeping people from getting infected at all with the virus? Yeah, that's, that's an excellent uh, question. So there are ma many questions. Uh, one question clearly is the duration of, of protection. And the other question is, is the question you are asking now about the transmission. Uh, we've only seen the data over the weekend, so it's very early days. But what we have seen so far is, is a belief that we can also reduce the transmission of, uh, of vaccinated uh, people, including asymptomatic uh, uh, participants. So once again, it's still very early days. But what we have seen and, and we will see more in, in the course of uh, this week when the investigators, the clinical trialists, will write their, their, their story in a, in a, in a high-profile journal, journal. But we are pleased to see what we have seen so far. But I think it's a little bit too early in order to be definite about that piece. So can you explain just the why on a couple of those issues? I mean, first of all, if if people are much less likely to transmit it, even if they're asymptomatic having it. Is that because it's a lower viral load that they would walk around with, even if they did get it? And in terms of the 90 percent efficacy that comes with a half dose and then the full dose that comes after that, why? I mean, it would just, you'd think logically, if you're getting a full dose and then a full dose, that you're getting more of the vaccine and therefore you'd have a bigger response. Is it that you get too much of a response with the first one? Why do you think it's more effective when you give less of it? Yeah. So let me first try to address the, the, the first uh, 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 question about the transmission. The thinking here is that if you vaccinate, uh, uh, in this case, participants, volunteers, you hope to uh, release neutralizing antibodies. And as a result of the neutralizing antibodies, the virus is no longer effective in order to cause harm in, in, in the body. Equally, there are mechanisms of the immune system in order to get rid of the virus. So that's one of the, the mechanisms uh, uh, which is important in order to uh, reduce transmissions mm -hmm. also in asymptomatic uh, 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 patients. Now, then your second question uh, about uh, uh, the half dose, uh, full dose, uh, it's very speculative. And, and, and of course, we are in close contact with uh, the researchers of the Oxford uh, uh, University. Uh, it's fair to say that it's a little bit too early, but one of the potential hypotheses is that you are priming the immune system with a relatively low dose or a lower dose. As a, as a consequence, the immune system is 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 is, is firing against this uh, this this, uh, this 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 virus. Uh, but equally, I also need to admit that it was a little bit of a surprise to all of us in order to 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 see to see this difference. And uh, we, we we really expected to have a high dose high dose very effective. It is, it is very effective, yeah. but the, the, the half dose, full dose clearly has a better efficacy. And, and we will do more research uh, in, in, in the weeks to come in order to better understand the mechanism here. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.